What is up, everybody? How's everybody doing today? Now, as many of you guys know, for the last seven years, I've been bullied, attacked, maimed, discarded relentlessly. And people like William Glory Hole say that I don't deserve to make a living. People like him say that I don't deserve shit, that I'm not allowed to make a living. Why? Because he wants to use me for fucking content. And I'll be honest, I'm sick of being used for fucking content. I am sick of sitting here being depressed every fucking day and not being where I should have been this whole goddamn motherfucking time. You know, last night something happened. And it was one of the worst nights of my life. Last night, I stared pure fucking evil in the goddamn face. And it wasn't easy. But let me tell you something. Staring that evil in the face like I did, it hurt a lot. Watching these people be allowed to get away with bullying like they do, it pisses me the fuck off. Every day it pisses me off. Knowing that these evil people can walk around and run their fucking mouths with no repercussions. At all. And I'm fucking sick and tired of it. All I want to do is be able to live my life and do what I love for a living, which is my music and my gaming. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do, man. Is there anything wrong with me wanting a normal fucking life? Is there anything wrong with me wanting to be better than I was before? Is there anything wrong with me moving on to be better than I was? What is so wrong with me wanting to be a better person? with me wanting to do better for myself. For me wanting to make an honest living doing my fucking music and having fun and inspiring people and helping people while I fucking do it. Is there anything wrong with that? Because quite honestly, I don't see the fucking problem. I don't see where that is a problem. You have somebody that made a mistake and wants to do better. So why not let them do it, William Glory Hole? Why not let me be better? Why not let me do better? Let me do my fucking shit and make the money that I deserve to fucking make. But let me tell you, man. This song I'm about to do right here describes how I felt inside last night when you did what you did to me and you sat there and laughed in my face along with everyone else. I push my fingers to feel my eyes. Switch to Chrome to protect... And to answer your question, Smoking Blues, I do do my own music. But the problem is, I don't have the luxury of performing my own music because of guys like William Glory Hole that want to steal my shit every time I try to do it. Every time I try to do my own shit, they steal it and they get the copyrights for it. So unfortunately, I don't have that luxury. As much as I wish I did, I unfortunately do not have that luxury of being able to do that. As much as I wish I did. But unfortunately, right now at this point in time, 
I do not have that luxury. And it hurts. Because I know there's a lot of people that want to hear my shit. There's a lot of people that want to hear my music. But unfortunately, because of these fucking dickheads that want to steal my shit and make me look like shit, unfortunately, I don't have that luxury. So I'm forced to do this. Not that I mind doing it, but still, I'm fucking sick of it, dude. And the Vlad, when he approaches me and apologizes to me, then I'll forgive him. But I will not forgive him until he approaches me and apologizes to me for what he did. That's the only time I will forgive him. See, William Glory Hole, that's your fucking bitch ass problem, nigga. See, your problem, William, is you can never answer a fucking single question without someone speaking for your faggot ass, bro. And yes, William Glory Hole, I'm calling you the fuck out, bitch, nigga. I'm calling you out, you crackheaded motherfucker. All you are is a punk ass, ignorant little bitch. That's all you are, William, and that's all you're ever going to fucking be. You, N-word boy, Marty, all y'all motherfuckers ain't nothing but a bunch of fucking lames. That's all you guys are, is lame as fuck. See, yeah, I may have a lot of people that hate on me, but guess what, motherfuckers? I thrive off the hate. Because I get to prove myself. Every time that I am better than you, I am better than Marty, and I am better than anyone in the fucking troll community. Because can't nobody in the troll community handle what I'm able to do. Can't nobody hold a candle to my skill. I mean, it's, it's funny, William. You say that I'm shit, but yet look at you, nigga. Look at you, bro. You sit there and run your mouth on the internet like a goddamn cocksucker, dude. Stealing my music. Trying to run me down. Trying to make sure I get canceled. Well, guess what, William? I'm uncancelable. I cannot be canceled. Ever. I can never be canceled. Ever. And the accusations are bullshit. And you know it, William. Because here's the thing, William. You think that I owe the internet something? Nah, motherfucker. I don't owe the internet a goddamn thing. I don't owe them an explanation. I don't owe them nothing. If anything, William, the internet owes me an apology. Every single first person, every single goddamn fucking person that's ever attacked me owes me an apology. Y'all owe me an apology. I don't owe y'all shit. I don't owe you shit, William. And it's funny. You sit there and say that I'm shitty at music. Okay, if I'm so bad, why have they been signed to several fucking major labels in the past? Huh? If I'm so bad, why did major fucking record labels sign me and then drop me? I'd say that's saying a lot about me right there. Forget about the dropping me part. What about when those major labels had signed me, dude? And I'm not talking about your fake ass labels that you guys made up. No, I'm talking about the real ass labels that brought me on because they saw talent in me. That right there alone is saying a lot. 
That right there alone is saying quite a bit, man. And yet, you continue to run your fucking mouth. Because, William, you're too much of a bitch to get on the mic and do what I do every fucking day. I don't care whether it's one person watching, I don't care if it's a hundred thousand people watching. I don't give a fuck. Every person that comes in here that is not a troll is welcome here. Every person that comes in here that seeks a place to hang out is welcome. Everybody that comes in here and seeks to get away from your fucking ass and the troll community and wants to set their burdens down, they are welcome here. But motherfuckers like you and the troll community, William, you're not welcome here and you never will be welcome here. So William, sit and rotate, motherfucker. You punk ass little bitch. Always trying to drag fake people in the box. Oh, and by the way, to anybody out there that wants to believe the lies that I'm a pedophile, well, here is my fucking answer. Here's my goddamn answer to you motherfuckers. If I really was that, why did I not go to prison? Why did the cops know that I'm being attacked? Why did every single piece of law enforcement say that I'm not that? So every one of y'all that wants to sit there and call me that, fuck you. Because if I really was that, I'd be arrested and it'd be on my goddamn fucking record, you stupid faggot motherfuckers. So sit down and shut the fuck up, you little bitches. Y'all ain't shit. You know you ain't shit. So sit down, shut the fuck up, or get the fuck out of my stream, and go the fuck somewhere else, and go fuck yourselves. Cause you will never be a god in music like me. You will never be in god mode like me. I stay in god mode and I stay ready every fucking day to go off. When it comes to my music, I stay at the ready and I stay prepared. Cause I'm like you little fucking mortal fucking bitch ass trolls. I'm a fucking god son. You guys ain't shit. You ain't on this level. You ain't on this level of being a badass. You ain't on this level of fighting a war and fucking surviving for seven fucking years. I'm a goddamn warrior, bro. I'm a fucking general up in this bitch. But y'all trolls, you ain't shit and you ain't ever gonna be shit. So make room for the badass motherfuckers like me that have something to say. You know, kind of like this. And yes, Vlad, I do. Give me just a moment, man. I got you. There you go, Vlad.
We're back. There are those who factor and those who don't. Fresh, right, never ready? frozen meals ready in two minutes. We're about to do it like this, man. This is haunted. Where I'm at in life, like the people who are closest to me inspire me. Nope, that was actually one above them. That was actually a professional label. The Bender Boys were fake. I actually got signed to a real label and they dropped it because of all these idiots. And all I got to say to you is this, bitch. Bye. I don't have a Bender Boys jacket, dude, man. Never fucking did. And thank God I don't. And let me explain to you, man. The Bender Boys did fuck me over. They worked with Marty to fuck me over. They seriously worked with him to fuck me over. So yeah, they were fake the entire goddamn fucking time. Which is why the moment that I get the money that I need, I'm starting on my own label and signing myself to my own fucking goddamn label. And guess what? Can't nobody fucking stop me from doing that. Can't nobody take my music at that point. Can't nobody say that I work for them. Because the minute that I start up my own fucking label, it's game on. Because I will own 100% of everything. The music, the lyrics, the name, everything. I don't need to sign to some shithole label to make it. Because I can do that shit myself. Oh, trust me, once the time's right and everything pops off in the correct way, your boy won't have to worry about money ever again. Yo, Eromu, how you doing, man? Been a minute. What's good? Long time to see you, my friend. How you been? Maybe not, but trust me when I say, I got people in the background that are going to be helping me out. I have a lot of people in the fucking background that are going to be helping me out, so it's all good. Now, we're going to kick it off like this. I took two Yo, things that I hey, love, dancing I know you remember this and I made them dog. into a successful business. Hi, I'm Ronnie. I'm the owner of... Hey, you know. And now, I have one severely underdeveloped lung and one Tus coleccionables favoritos de Mitanos. Ahora están en vasos coleccionables. Pide un Collector's Mule en Mitanos y elige entre unos Big Nuggets de 10 piezas o una Big Mac para llevarte tu vaso mientras puedas. Hey, yo, hit on me. Let's see if you recognize this. Let's see if you remember this one, bro. Cut my legs. Oh, I can go even harder, man. I hope you're ready for this one. You've only seen me do this one before. But yo, Lev, I'm about to grace you with something that I bet you never thought I could do. Hey, Rami, you know what I'm about to do, brother. You know exactly what I'm about to do, man.
Pizza, pizza. Walk in for all your favourites during Little Caesar's Summer of Hot and Ready, like a thin crust pepperoni pizza for seven ninety nine. No need to order ahead. Just get here ASAP. Stuck the landing. Walk in for your Hot and Ready favourites, like seven ninety nine thin crust. Money make the world go round. Why you license plate say Chicken Man? Because that's my name, baby. Bring similar tabs together. And with that being said, guys, I'm about to take a break, set up for a gaming stream for you guys. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in a little bit, man. I fucking love you guys. As always, stay humble, stay positive, keep being yourselves, and fuck the haters, man. I love you guys. Peace. <laughs>